Hello, my name is DC. I'll be giving a match analysis for Forge FC versus York United. Okay, before we start, yep. Alright, as we start here, failed clear. Okay, he tries to clear the ball but does not get enough uh, height and it ends up landing to the attacking player. Now, here, as we can see, everyone has been dragged towards the ball, looking at the ball, also looking to go into the direction of the ball. Then we even change the marker. Same thing with him, same thing with him. Also, oh, yes, you get the idea. Almost everyone is occupied with the ball, which is everyone here. What you may not pay attention to that is on the edge of your screen is this guy making a run into the box, which is dangerous because he is unmarked. And the man that is here can just make a hopeful ball into the corridor of uncertainty or around this area and hope someone gets onto it. Let me play it through so that we can see exactly what happens. He plays the ball through and completely un... Sorry, let me use this. He is completely unmarked. If he wanted, he didn't have to take this first time. He could have even taken a touch to drop the ball. Maybe even just to dab and then continue his strike. He has so much time. And he plays it in first time, slams it into the back of the net. Just look at this. He had way too much space and he, now that I've seen it closer, he takes a look. He plays it across here and everyone is focused on the ball here. No one is focused on the man here. Sometimes if you're a defender slash centre back, if you see everyone going for the ball, take a look to your left, to your right, just look around the pitch. There might be a player that has not been accounted for, like this man here. Lovely, he puts it into the roof of the net, which is uh, in a which is also good on its own. That's also good. All right, let's head on to the last goal of the match. This is where I'm sure people are tired. So, the team that is down commits how many players? Let's count one, two, three, four. Okay, let's just count people that are in the box one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven players in the box. Unfortunately, the ball is taken, is cleared by the keeper, and now the counter-attack begins. I'm sure at this point they are tired. I like what he does. He just continues running with the ball. There's no need to play to anyone. There's no need to pass it. He has the ball because all these players here, uh, he's moving back. He's moving back. They are creating the space that he will eventually occupy or run into. All right, and I also feel he, maybe him, he could have taken a step forward, not really a step forward, but track back a little slower so that they meet somewhere in the middle. Pay attention to this man, as we will see. He is unchallenged running. He waits for him. He waits for this man, because this man here, he pauses, and then now... He does himself bad because he does not give him say he, he he doesn't give himself the chance to continue his momentum. He stops, then continues running, and finally the boy is played. He looks around his shoulder, and it's a goal. This is one of those transition goals whereby the team is looking to score a goal, but leaves themselves massively understaffed at the back. But otherwise, a good game between Forge FC versus York United. A very good match indeed. Like, share, and subscribe. I will see you in the next match analysis.